Our study for next week takes us into uh, the shoulder girdle region. And so our studies between now and Tuesday need to set us up for success for uh, critical thinking and for lab experiences. We want to know a great deal about the shoulder. Three degrees of freedom at the glenohumeral joint uh, and the complexities of the shoulder girdle uh, require that we have basic anatomy down. So I think about arthrology. There are really just three bones that uh, comprise the shoulder girdle, but there are so many projections. I think you remember from your studies in anatomy physiology, um, knowing the tuberosities and tubercles, the uh, spine of the scapula, the angles of the uh, scapula, and certainly uh, the freedom that we have in movement at the glenohumeral joint which is really based upon to to some significant extent to the movement at the um, sternoclavicular joint, the AC joint, and the mobility of the scapula on the thorax. So three bones, but lots to know about those bones. And then the arthrology, you say, okay, now are there three joints or are there four? There's three synovial joints. Now you have to ask yourself, is the scapulothoracic a union is that really joint? Well, it's not a traditional joint, maybe, but it operates similarly to to a joint. So uh, think that through, know those joints. And then, obviously, an important part of our study is the myology. And um, we need to be very, very familiar with and be able to utilize uh, our understanding of the muscles of the glenohumeral joint and also of the scapula. And so on E-class are study aids that help you get organized relative to the muscles that control exclusively the position of the scapula. The really profound understanding is about, about the position of the scapula is it's the responsibility of the muscle motors of the scapula to get the glenoid fossa in the ideal position for the overall movement of the joint. But we're not built for safety if we don't get the scapula right in the right position to get the glenoid fossa to interface with the humerus so that we take unnecessary stress out of that particular joint and also position us for effectiveness and efficiency. So. Bless you in your studies of the shoulder girdle. You know, there, there are people walking on the earth right now when you say shoulder girdle to them, they're just way confused or they think, well, um, that must be where my arm, you know, moves and really what they mean at the glenohumeral joint. But we need to go to a level of sophistication where we can help people prevent injury and increase their effectiveness um, for the whole shoulder girdle. So bless you in your studies. Look forward to being with you on Tuesday and uh, just celebrate the fact that we get to know. That's, that's way good. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.